Good morning, everybody out there at Coldwell Banker, Residential Brokerage, Arizona. Proud again to be coming to all of you. I appreciate you tuning in. Today I wanted to take just maybe two, three minutes, talk to you about consumer confidence, um, which is like everything else it seems in our country and our lives these days, it gets measured one way or another. And the uh, Consumer Confidence Board comes out with an index regularly, which tells us um, how consumers are feeling about the economy, uh, about you know jobs, and just generally how good they feel about being secure. And so it's an important measurement. How does it relate to you? Um, I, I think you need to know that consumer confidence certainly affects the market. It can affect people that you're working with in terms of their confidence to go forward and pull the trigger and buy that house that they're thinking about. So uh, it does have a relevance to our business. And I thought since actually the number took a fairly large drop in March um, that I would talk about it just a little bit. And what happened in March? Consumer confidence, and remember, consumer confidence drives consumer spending. Consumer spending generates about 70% of our gross domestic product. So it is an important number to continue to kind of keep an eye on. And it fell to 50, 59, excuse me, 59.7% when it came out in March. And the expectation had been that it should be up about 66, 67 right now. And in fact, the 59.7 was the lowest number since the last quarter of 2011. So it took a very unexpected drop because since the last quarter of 2011 until March of this year, with only a couple of exceptions, we'd been bouncing around between 60 and 7, low 70 percentile on the consumer confidence rating. So really, it took a drop. Um, what does it tell us? Um, you, you sure know by now I'm not an economist, but you know, all of them that I pay attention to are saying that with unemployment still in the mid sevens, uh, with budget deficits, with the politics in Washington, I don't care which side of the aisle, not getting along very well, that you wrap all those things together, job security, a lot of things, people are still concerned. So it's something to watch. Hopefully it will uh, jump back up for us. A little historical look. In 1980, it was 69.8%. In 1990-91, it was 71.5%. In 2001, are you sitting down? It was 109.3% all-time high, and you have the numbers now. So um, it, it just means you have to think about what your clients are going through. I know you do all the time. So hopefully the consumer confidence uh, tip of the day is good for you. Make it a great day out there, great week, and thank you for all you do. Thank you for being part of our team. Have a great day ahead.